back to the drum sander. So I made a piece of steel. I had to grind it down a bit because it was sticking up above the drum sander. Took the grinder to it, took a sixteenth off just a little bit. I took a toilet paper cardboard and I made it the same circumference. And it seems to be pretty close. And I ran it on the ground and I noticed the bag wasn't inflating. So, I took off the Allen screws, 5 sixteenths, and this is what I found. Broken timing belt. Yep. Motor runs the drum. And it also runs the extractor fan. And the belt is broken. Sweet. Very nice. Junk. You can't get this anywhere. Except in England, where the machine is made. So, I'll put it back together. And put a box fan in the window, I suppose. Fill the room up with thick, heavy sawdust because you can't get a belt for that today on Sunday. I should have just gone to church. What a piece of junk. Exactly that much sanding done. And over there, probably 10 feet, 3 or 4 meters. What a piece of junk. One of the guys that watched my videos says that he puts new screws in every time the machines come back to hold down that bar. Maybe that would be a good idea. If, uh, we're going to be raising Last little bit of wet paint I'm putting on. Okay. Yeah. It should be. Box fan. Huh? Sure is dusty and rusty enough. Guess yeah. it's the right one for the job, huh? Yeah, that fits all the other equipment we're using. Houston, we have a problem. I just lost all power to the belt of the drum. So, my other belt just broke. They should give us a couple belts to go with us. Well, I bet they'll say they never broke a belt before. Oh well. I think I'll go remold one. Go to Mexico and have one yeah. made. 